So we'll do that last. I think uh, let, let's let's start off with uh, the market action first, Anuj. And the FI setup is quite interesting as well. So tell us how you're reading the data points. You know, uh, Nigel, uh, first things first, uh, our dependence on FI flows has obviously reduced. Yes. You know, if we had this kind of numbers five years back, the market would have collapsed. Uh, so in that sense, it's good. Uh, the SIP number this time also was 21,000 crores thereabout. Uh, I think what I'm doing is while FIs have been selling on cash markets, uh, in the FNO market, there's been aggressive short positioning. Uh, I mean, there's a graph that I've made now. We need to make some adjustment in this because the contract sizes have changed on the Nifty. But even then, if you look at the percentage numbers, uh, we are now at, uh, you know, almost uh, record high uh, short positioning. Uh, now, that is interesting because, uh, you know, we've had this three or four times in the past. And I'll go by the last two years data because uh, I think that's telling you a lot. Uh, we had the same situation in March 2023. And what happened in the market in that period? The Nifty fell from the top by about 10% or thereabout. Uh, I think uh, 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 some of the graphics will come up for you. Yeah. And after that, in the next three months, you know what was the return for the Nifty? 18%. Then we had October 2023. When the market fell, Nifty fell 7% when these short positions were taken by FIs. Over the next three months, Nifty returned 15%. I'm talking about Nifty returns and this has happened in the past, okay? This time, we've already fallen about 4% on the Nifty. Let's see what we do uh, three months from here on. Uh, I want to add another angle here, which is the India VIX. And, uh, you know, add the past indicator. The India VIX has risen from 10 to 19. Today, I think we closed at somewhere around 19. And last time when we had India VIX at 19 was in September, October 22. Actually, the markets normally have two tough months, uh, May and October, uh, right? And uh, last two years have been like that. In October 22 also, we, uh, you know, crossed 19 and uh, Nifty fell almost 6% from the peak. But after that, we again hit all-time high. And my sense is that sometimes and most of the times in markets, these things repeat. Uh, so if I were to stick my neck out, my sense is that you'll have a new high and a significantly higher high at some point this year itself.